Hello, fresh graders. Welcome to a new science lesson. Please get the scientist notebook ready and let's start. We are on unit five. We talking about offspring and their parents. We covered before uh, previous lesson, plants grow and change. And we know that start with the seed and then the growth life cycle, and then to become an adult plant. We learn also about seedlings. We also learn about plants and their parents that uh, plants will look um, like the parents, but not exactly. There will be some changes. Like remember when we say it could be different colors, different uh, more leaves or um, or less leaves, or even different in size. We also learn about adaptions and the animals. Uh, I mean, plants can adapt to um, to their environment. We also cover and learn about um, that uh, plants can grow differently uh, because of um, the weather or the need of the, the light. So we saw that some plants uh, will need more light, so will grow better and when they have enough light. Some plants need the um, more shady or uh, some plants can do good in partially shade. We also learn and talked about uh, plants can look different in um, in, in the seeds or the, the offspring does not look like the adult plant, but when they start to uh, grow, they will easy for us to recognize the offspring or the young plants and the adult plant. We also learn about inherit and trait, and we know that inherit, it's like carrying something from the parents and um, trait, it's like features that uh, can make the plant or the animal look alike or different. Today, we're gonna talk about comparing animals. So for example, um, look at these three friends. They, let's say if they went to the zoo and they will look for lines. Do you think all the lines will look the same or there will be some different um, or um, that difference will be um, a noticeable or like big difference or like one line was four legs and other line was six legs or the difference will be like, maybe in a size, maybe in a color, but uh, the, main, um, the main feature, uh, it remained the same. So let me meet uh, our new friends here. We have three friends and each of them have an idea and we need to know which one will agree with. All right. All right, comparing animals, page 182. Which friend had the best idea about animals? We have Bert, Geraldo, and Paul. Bert said, I think animals of the same kind always look alike. Always look alike. Geraldo said, I think animals of the same kind sometimes look alike. And then Paul said, I think animals of the same kind never look alike. So we have three friends, each one have different ideas about animals. So Bert said, he thinks that animals of the same kind always look alike. So imagine all cats look the same, means the same size, the same color, uh, the same uh, hair color, the, the same um, eyes colors. Do you think so? Geraldo said, I think animals of the same kind sometimes look alike. Let's say if we're still talking about cats, so sometimes you see, Cats are the same, are white, but then you're gonna see some other cats are different colors. Some cats have a brown eye color or green or blue, but all cats get hair, all cats get two ears, all cats get four legs, or cats get a tail. So that's Geraldo's idea. Paul said, I think animals of the same kind never look alike. Never. So the cats are different. One will have uh, one tail, one will have no tail, one will have four legs, one will have two legs, one will have feather, one will have hair. So Paul thinks that animals will never, from the same kind, will never look alike. So what do you think? You agree with Bert that all animals, same kind, look alike always? Or Geraldo, that he said animals of the same kind sometimes look alike? Or Paul, that he said, animal from the same kind never look alike. Okay. If we agree with Geraldo, so you're right. 
because yes, the animals of the same kind sometimes look alike, but not always, right? So we're gonna write here on page 182 that we gonna, we agreed with Giraldo that his idea, it's the best idea because, you know, you can say, I think that animals of the same kind sometimes look alike. So that's what Giraldo said, and we agreed with him. Well, let's explain and put more details. Okay, we can say that Offspring of animals look similar to their parents, but may have difference in trait, like different colors. So we can say that offspring of the animals, like the young animal, they will look similar. their parents, but not exactly, because they could have a different, uh, like a dog, uh, if the dog have four puppies, probably one of them will have a spot uh, on their face, and the other one will have, or the cat, they will be, a couple of the cats are um, brown, and the other one will, the third one will be having a black spot, or, um, you know, part of the tail is a different color, but Overall, they look like their parents. So let's continue. So offspring of animals look similar to their parents, but maybe oops, they may have some difference, as we say, it could be in, they might have, oops. some difference in some trees, as we see it could be the, um, the hair or the color or the size or the eye colors. So we are on page 182. We agreed with Giraldo that he said, I think animals of the same kind sometimes look alike. And we explain like the offspring of animals like the kin or the puppies of, of um, uh, they would look alike, uh, similar to their parents, but they would be having maybe some differences. Okay, let's go to page 183 and read what we have here. I'm sure you might have um, seen cows in fields or at the farm, but how many different kinds of cows have you ever seen? Okay, so we're gonna look at that photo and we will see uh, if we can say which, why they're alike, if they are alike or they're different. So look at this picture here. If I ask question and I say, are all these cows look alike? Or there's similarity in something and different in something else? I can say, if I say similarity means they all have the same, I can say that they all have four legs, they all eat the same food, they all have two ears. But if I say, for example, the difference, this is all the similarity or the something that are like. If I say the differences, I can say, well, they come in different size. I can see one is smaller than the other two. And I see different colors. I see more brown and white spot in one. I see one with more black and little spots, a black, a white spot. And I can see another one with probably even parts of black and, and white. So they come in different colors and they come in different also sizes. All right. So over here, as usual, we need to ask for a question. All what we saw or what we just said and discussed together, we can write it in a question um, part. So we can just say, for example, 
why do they all have different colors and different pattern? Or are they all the same type of cows? Because cows comes in different type as well. So we'll, we'll write. And of course, if you have a different uh, question, you can add it here. So let's say one of the question, we can say that we notice that. Why do they have different colors? And also we notice different pattern. Okay, we could ask also another question. Are they the same type of cows? Because as we agree, they come in different pattern and different colors. So can uh, the same type of cows come in different pattern and different colors? So that would be also another question. All right. Okay, so we agreed that we saw all uh, all cows, you know, they got four legs, they eat the same food, uh, but we saw also they come in different pattern and uh, different um, colors. All right, let's go for the next page. Okay, 184 and 185, and we have here a little um, fun game or activity that we can uh, do it together, or I will help you to do it. So, page 184. How can you investigate ways in which animals are alike and different? So now we understand that we know that offspring or uh, uh, young animals carry or um, inherit or uh, some of the features or the traits from their adults. So they will look a, a little different when they're um, young animals comparing with the adults, but it's easy for us to know that this is a puppy belongs to that dog, all right? So over here, what are you gonna do? You're gonna sort animals into groups. So the animals, you're gonna see two animals and then you're gonna have to say why this animals uh, belong to this group. So why you decide that they have, um, what they have alike. So what feature they all carry it and they are the same. So what are some ways you can sort animals? All right. So over here, what you need? Photos of many different animals. So I'm going to show you a couple of them. Uh, scissors, large paper, glue, markers. This is to cut the pictures and to uh, draw, uh, glue it. But if you don't have access for pictures and you don't know how to do it, that's why I'm going to put the pictures for you. And then that will help you to get ideas of what we're talking about. Okay, make prediction means you're guessing, you're thinking what are some ways that you can sort animals. So we, you remember in a picture of the cows, we said that, yeah, if I have, I look at this picture, I say all cows, they're not maybe the same kind, but they all have four legs or they all eating the same food, right? So over here, we can uh, sort animals by how many legs? or ha, ha, are they are big size, or for example, if um, they have fur or feather, it depends on what animals you have. So this is, they have big peak or small peaks, they fly or they don't fly, or they live in the water or they live on land. So it depends on the picture, but because I'm gonna only show you couple of examples, but again, if you have access to find different animals, please do so. I'm just giving you an example. So you don't need to uh, use these examples. But let's find out here this prediction or what are some ways you can sort animals. All right, we can say, I can sort animals. By, for example, how many 
um, legs they have. Or how many or how big they are. And also if they have, let me put this down, I cannot see. If they have fur or feather. And also if you chose, let's say dolphins, so you need to put, or any uh, animals that live in the water. So you can also say, that they live um, on land or under the water. Okay. I'm going to read it for you in case you want to do it. But if you don't have access for pictures or you can't print it, doesn't matter. You can draw also if you like to. So be careful when you handle scissors. As we always say, make sure that adults around you when you do this um, um, activities and they can help you around. All right. Find photos of many different kinds of animals. Cut out the photos, group the animals by ways they are similar. Write labels that tell you um, uh, how you sort these uh, or how you sort each group. So how you put them in groups, why you put them in group A or B or C. What's the reason? Are the group A all flies? Group B all animals have um, four legs? Uh, group C animals that live under the water? So this is just an example. All right, so let's see. Let's go for next page, page 185. What do we have here? Now we need to record this information. We need to write it down. So record data, use the table, tell what traits you use to sort the animals, list the animals that were in each group. So as I said, Let's say you decided that these groups, for example, have four legs, or this group of animals can fly, or these groups of animals have fur, or these groups of animals have feathers. So this is how you sort them, right? I'm going to show you a couple of pictures here. For example, if we're talking about bears, we can say that these animals in your group, they all have fur. They all have four legs. Um, they all hunt for fish from the water. So that would be the traits that you used. They all come in different colors. So this is something different, like they all come in brown or dark brown or light brown. If you wanna use color or if you wanna use size, they all big. This is also another picture. This is for flamingos. So you can also talk about, they have feather, they have two legs, if they can fly or not. They have black part of their peaks. So whatever the feature or the trait you see. All right, so this is just an example. But again, as I told you, you can just choose any animals. If you have even pictures of animals in, in one of your books and you like to draw and color it, you can do that. But the most important that you're going to say, how did you sort it? Like, let's say the first one you said they all have big um, they all have fur or they all have four legs. The second one you said all, all birds or flamingos get two um, legs. Uh, all the birds I put them can fly or they all have feathers. Let's say the third uh, trait or the third features you're talking about that um, they all, uh, they always big size or um, they can uh, uh, run fast or whatever you think that uh, you find all they all have long neck because they are giraffe, right? So that's why I'm just, I just show you a few pictures or a couple of examples, but then you can do whatever you like. All right, explain why an animal was in one group instead of another. I'm gonna use the two example I used here, the bear, the picture of the bears and a picture of the flamingo, just to give you ideas of how you need to answer this uh, question or what do you need to write? Of course, if you use what I showed you, 
you will be pretty much writing what I'm saying. But if you choose different animals, like let's say you decided on camels and giraffe and zebra. So you would be describing the color, the size, what they eat, um, what, uh, the, the, what they cover, what cover their body, how many legs, um, all the features you want to, or all the traits that you want to say. But since I put um, a group of bears and a flamingo, I will be using, answering this question number two related to the pictures I just used. So I'm gonna say, for example, the bears, Well, the bear was, was in the group. Why we put the bear in this group? Because they all, for example, has fur. So that's why I put all the bears in one part. So they get with fur because all their bodies fur on fur that covers. their bodies. So we decide that the bears belong to this one group or all the bears are, or where uh, the bears were in one group or in this group. because this is a group that they all have fur that cover their bodies, all right? Okay, now we put all flamingos, although they come in different colors, but we put them all in one group, put it here, because we decide to look at all the flamingos were um, not in the, in the other group. Why we did not put them? Because the flamingos bodies covered with feather. That's why you separate them or sort them or put them in groups. So we put all the animals that they have fur here and the animals with the feathers here. So that's why I did not put them in the same. I did not glue it in one box or I didn't draw them both in one box because the bears all for each other, yeah, comes in different color, but they all at least have fur or all bears have four legs, if you wanna say and write about this. But then let's say uh, uh, about flamingo, we can say we put all the flamingos because they have a uh, feather that cover their body and they also have two legs. So let's say here for the flamingos. Does not. In that group, like I didn't put the picture or I didn't put the flamingo with the bears because it is because we agree that flamingos has feathers instead of fair. instead of fur. So again, as I told you, you can use different features or different traits. So you can say your number of legs, or you can say that they fly, the flamingo flies and the bear don't fly. So it's up to you. I'm just giving you an example. All right. Okay, so today we talked about comparing animals. We listened to the three friends that they were talking about um, animals and each one have a different ideas. And we agree with Geraldo that Geraldo say, say that uh, animals of the same kind sometimes look alike. So, and we put an explanation that offspring or the young animals will look like their uh, parents, but with a little difference. So the similarity will be probably same colors or, um, um, same features like uh, have the, uh, hair on their skin, cover their body or feathers, but, uh, or two legs or four legs can run or can fly or can swim like their parents, but maybe come in like, of course the offspring will be, or the young animal will be smaller. Uh, sometimes also we say they're gonna have 
different um, hair color or skin or fur or feather, and sometimes even the eye colors, but they are similar in, in other things. All right, that's it for today, first graders. Thank you. Bye-bye.